So we're back again, and we're going to make some minor modifications to the oscillator. Um, let's get rid of these ramp controls, and let's simplify this process. So maybe I'll make my ramp time 50 milliseconds, and I'm going to do uh, the same thing up here. So it's what I had before, but I'm just, like I say, simplifying this a little bit. Let's check out another oscillator. Let's go square wave, rectangle. Um, arguments can change it from a pulse wave to a square wave. Sometimes when no argument, it's just going to be a square wave. And um, there you have. And be off with that. Don't need the bang anymore. Just try and keep this a little simpler. Now, uh, if I want to use my mouse to control these things, I can use an object called mouse state. Mouse state will, let's stretch it out so the outputs are easier to deal with outlets farther apart. This will tell me if my button's up or down on my mouse. This gives me the X location and the Y. Uh, so let's get some Floating point and a floating point for X and Y. And we'll put a little comment. For each. Um, and now it's not telling me anything. I have to it and it tells me X and Y. Now I can automate the process by using say a metro uh, with a time of 50 and a toggle and so now if it's on you can see my mouse change zero y x y at the top let's make it for the size of my window um, 1745 i'm really doing 1920 by 1080 in my capture space so uh, just let me know and then when i turn it off it stops now i can automate this process of turning it on and off by using the mouse down button so let's, uh, it's one if it's down. So I turn it back on. And actually it reports mouse button position regardless of being if on or off. So let's put a toggle here, right? And then I don't need this toggle. So now I get mouse position. Um, whenever my mouse is down and not when it's up. Now uh, I'm going to scale this to frequency and amplitude. So let's um, do some stuff we've done before with the LCD object, so scale, and 0 to 1920 is my input. And we're going to scale that from, say, 30 hertz to 2,000. See my output. And 
and then I'll send mouse frequency can receive that over here same thing for amplitude uh, just copying whoops option drag but now I need to change this. My input will be 0 to 1080 for the Y. And I'm scaling that to amplitude. Um, I'm going to use 0.5 as a max. And a minimum of 0. So that means when I'm at the top of the screen, I'm 0.5. And when I'm at the bottom, I'm 0. Send. mouse amp and go over here receive mouse amp so lock the patch And that is not doing what I thought it would do. It is. Stop and think a little bit here. So from here, Turn the audio off for a second. Uh, that's my X. And I'm seeing that work. Scale. Zero. To 1920. My low frequency is going to be 30. And my high frequency is going to be 2000. Okay, so I'm not sure why that wasn't working. Um, let's replace all my arguments again. Scale, zero. Try the integers, but this shouldn't matter to 1080. And the output's going to be my high amplitude of 0.5 and my low amplitude of 0. Okay, so not sure what just happened, but I must add a typo. Turn audio back on. So just one little thing to make this actually work correctly. So um, it stops reporting my mouse when I let go, but it doesn't turn the audio off. So I'm gonna make a little improvement. I'm going to go back to 
trigger object and it's going to send my on off value and that's going to be two numbers and it's actually going to be just one or zero so it could be an integer and an integer And the first thing I want it to go to it's a little change in here. So I'm going to extend this out. And I'm going to use whether or not the mouse is on or off as another multiplier. Tilde. In this case, the default is going to be zero. And I'll receive on off and we can convert it to a float and send it into the argument. So when the mouse is off, this will be zero. And it'll turn off the amplitude. And when it's on, it'll just multiply the amplitude by one. So then this has to come to the metro now as the final thing. Turn the audio back on. And to make this work, it actually has to do another little trigger. And which is going to be the floating point value first, and then a bang. So it's all about order of operation for the non audio signals. The floating point is still here. The bang is going to resend the amplitude. So I'm actually going to leave this whole thing in and my struggles um, because um, my send and receives aren't working. The reason this is not working, uh, pay attention to my amplitude now and um, you'll see why um, this doesn't work and I won't actually need this anymore but follow the mouse when I lock my patch and hold it down and notice as my amplitude is changing nothing's changing over here So I can fix this really quickly. I didn't need to 
do an audio signal. Now, as my amplitude changes with the mouse, it changes over here. When I let go, it's a zero. So I was sending audio signal to a message rate object, and that's not going to send. Number doesn't understand signal. Um, so what was happening, signal is trying to send the signal. This acts like a patch cord, so it's not the send and receives. The problem is as if I connected my audio signal to this number box, and it didn't like that. So I wasn't looking at my console. So now this will work. Let's go back here. So I send the argument, I bang the amplitude over again to make the multiplication happen again. It sends, and because it's a message rate, it works. So that's a little thing to watch out for. I was connecting, by using uh, the send and receive, I was connecting an audio signal to the number. Doesn't work. Uh, so thanks for the patience, and you got to see me make some mistakes. I'm going to leave it in there because that's kind of helpful uh, to work your way out of some problems. Uh, but this is the final patch, and just to kind of review, I have my adjustable oscillator with a square wave, changeable frequency with a 50 millisecond ramp time whenever the frequency changes, adjustable amplitude with the same 50 second ramp time whenever the amplitude changes. I'm using mouse state, which reports the X and Y position of the mouse when it's being uh, receives a bang. So I'm banging it at fifth every 50 milliseconds. I'm using the on and off output of the mouse state to turn the metro on and off. I'm also using it as a multiplier to the amplitude so that it'll turn the amplitude off and I'll get zero when I release. They go through. And so that's a uh, mouse theremin, just using your mouse on the screen and a locked patch. You can change. So have fun, play around with these some bit, and uh, I'll be back on Monday.